Hello and welcome to a new video. My name is Terve Guster from findoutaboutplastics.com and today we discuss the consideration of continuous heat exposure in the polymer material selection process as well as in the part design process. Okay, let us get started. First of all, um, we start with a definition, the, the long-term property of uh, heat exposure, how is this estimated and for that uh, we use the uh, underwriter laboratories relative thermal index, short RTI, uh, defined in the UL 746B. So it's called the long-term property evaluation. And so what is the UL standard 746B in detail? So it is for for a long-term property evaluation. It is a, as a data point, it's shortened to the UL relative thermal index, what we already said before, RTI, and originally developed to test the deterioration of insulating materials in electrical devices over the time. So mainly for, for the electrical industry. And uh, RTI gives an indication of the aging temperature that the material can endure for 100,000 hours and still retain at least 50% or so half of the initial property what uh, being measured. And it also gives a, a, a rating for each thickness of the plastic tested, so it can have different millimeters. And this is what is also shown here now as a diagram. Um, so on the you can use a, a log scale, uh, which is developed by Arrhenius. And with this, it is possible to extrapolate the estimated useful life uh, of plastics for a specific property up to 100,000 hours. And in this graph, you see a glass uh, fiber reinforced grade of a PPA and the 50% curve here. Okay, what is more to say about the 746B? So uh, in, in general um, UL considers end of life at 60,000 hours, Ho however uh, in combination with a control reference and the 100,000 hours uh, without a control reference. So this is meant by this extrapolation then. And in comparison to the IEC 60216, it considers uh, only the 20,000 hours uh, as end of life. Okay, so it's a quite uh, important um, 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 property for us in uh, plastics part side to have a short term uh, thermal property evaluation and the long term. And the UL746 is also part of the yellow card. So this you can see here, an example of a yellow card, also from a 33% reinforced PPA. And when you look here under the section thermal, you can see RTI for uh, strength at three millimeter. So I made it here bigger. Um, and for strength, the value is 140 degree C. So this is really the value where you know, okay, um, here we have still 140 degree C, 100,000 hours, still 50% of the property. Here is also again the, the test method 746B. Okay, let's make a, a example design of a plastic part here. I've chosen a, a load bearing plastic wheel, which needs to be designed. And um, we have here uh, the load bearing properties at 100 degrees C. And there, uh, from a design point of view, the first one of the key questions is, is that 100 degrees C only for a short term or it is continuously? And our example is a continuously 100 degrees C. Then further questions you can ask, uh, what is the environment the part will be used in? And uh, what about exposure to moisture, automotive fluids or other chemical environments? But uh, from all this question, we focus here now on the extended heat, high heat exposure of 100 degrees C and how to tackle this. 
so here um, we estimate now for for us the uh, uh, temperature index for this um, 100 degree C and we have already a selection of polymers let's say a poly -A -A ketone or PPA or a PPS and uh, uh, when you think most parts have a 1000 hour warranty so we can take that as a starting point when this information is already available uh, you can take what is available but for this example we say 1000 uh, hour and now we go back to the RTI chart for the appropriate mechanical property like we want strength or electrical or impact and then you look for the 1000 hours of use and uh, cross it with the 50% line of the original property value uh, and then you can get the thermal index so for example when you look here now we can here we have the hot air aging time let's say it's 1000 hours um, and when we when we cross it here with the 50 percent of uh, loss property curve uh, and go down we can see here what is the temperature index um, we can achieve that can be now 80 degree or 110 when it's 110 we know okay we have already above the 100 however uh, in design we also know you need to uh, need to have a safety factor of two three or even a four um, or so this is one way the other way the more practical way is you just go into the yellow card again what we discussed before and uh, check the R rti uh, uh, of the yeah what you need mechanical uh, electrical impact strength property and then you get already the uh, this temperature level so in this case you can see doesn't matter if we go for strength for different thicknesses or impact different thicknesses electrical the same it's always uh, 85 degrees c so in this uh, example it's a polyamide so that we know that can be critical then for this um, uh, uh, we have to have a look if we fulfill the 1000 hours however for this 100,000 hour this is set for 85 degrees c so, so it really depends then for the lifetime so this is two ways to examine it the faster faster way is the over the yellow card to look there and what also is important yeah, the other comparison um, short-term thermal exposure versus the long term and this is shown here in this chart so you have here on the uh, x-axis the heat deflection temperature and on the y the ul temperature index the rti and here you can say okay uh, when I need a material which has a high heat deflection temperature and a, yeah, also already high uh, uh, RTI value for example 140 degrees C then PPA or P46 might be suitable when I need uh, both uh, a high heat deflection and also a temperature um, a relative temperature index of over 200 degrees C then you can go for a PPS or a LCP so this is the way you can immediately assess both the short term uh, heat exposure and uh, the long term okay if you want to have more information on polymer engineering topics I highly recommend you my blog find out about plastics.com as well as um, my online courses on material selection I will link you both the blog and the online courses in the description below okay which video to watch next in this video I discussed the uh, thermoplastic datasheet properties what do they mean and how to read them so check it out thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe and smash that like button till next time bye